YouTube, this is Zach and I am back with yet another one. So this one, uh, this review is over Burberry London for men. Stay tuned. So I got this one finally. Um, yes, I didn't have this one in my collection. Shame on me. Um, I passed on this one, I don't know, man, for a long time. Um, I, you know, I'd see it on the shelves at some of the rack stores, and you know, Burberry just wasn't, you know, uh, what it what it used to be to me. And I just kind of passed on, you know, a lot of Burberry fragrances, and so I finally. Uh, uh, pulled the trigger and got this this year and I'm, I'm so glad that I did. I regret not having this a lot earlier, but this is an amazing fragrance. I mean, on first spray, I was like, I, I was wild and he, my wife was as well. I mean, this, this just literally smells like the holidays. It's one of those types of fragrances. Uh, so let me get into it now. Um, uh, uh, London is an oriental spicy. Um, it was uh, launched in 2006, so it's been around for a little bit, but 2006. Um, the nose behind this is Antoine Misandu, and uh, you know uh, this perfumer from uh, things like uh, uh, Mont Blanc uh, Explorer, and uh, there was another one uh, that he's known for as well, but most recently Explorer. Uh, the top notes on this is cinnamon, lavender, bergamot. The middle notes is leather. And mimosa and uh, the base notes are tobacco leaf opapanax opapanax I'm sorry and gayak wood and oak moss now again like I said I passed on this one for years and man this is an amazing fragrance I mean it literally just when you, you know, when you smell this you know with the cinnamon and the little bit of tobacco and everything it just it just reminds you of of the holidays you just get that feeling of the holidays and you know I mean, man, in the cool weather like today, uh, we got some cold weather here in Texas. I mean, this is just like a perfect type of day to wear this this sort of fragrance. I mean, it just smells wonderful. All these notes blended together. I mean, I, I just can't see somebody not liking this, man. I mean, of course, this is only for this time of year, but still, it's just it's just amazing the the scent that you get from this. And you know, you know, you get it from the opening, and and it still kind of lasts. And then, uh, then later on, when that uh, uh, tobacco and a little bit of that leather comes out, it just it's just beautiful, man. With the little woods in there, and of course the the mossy uh, oak moss. Um, but at any rate, man, I'm I'm just really glad I got this. You know, I, I tend to like the Orientals and and you know the spicy ones especially. And this this just was missing out of my collection. I'm glad I have it now. You can get this 100 ml bottle. Uh, this is an EDT, by the way. So you're looking at roughly about $35. So it's it's really inexpensive, um, in my opinion, and a great value, especially a great value for the money. Now, as far as performance goes, again, you know, this is an EDT, but it's for the winter. So you know, let's put those two things together. Now, we know that EDTs are going to have uh, less concentration of perfume oil. So um, it's going to project, but the, the 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 performance is going to be slightly mo moderate. Um, it's it's not going to be beast mode or anything like that. Um, so you may have to reapply. Uh, but again, that you know that 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 uh, dry down stays with you for for a little bit. Uh, but again, you know an EDT in the cold weather is not always the best mix. Um, I think the women's version is an EDP, but uh, the men's version is is an EDT. So you're gonna you're gonna get notice in that first you know two to three hours. I mean this is gonna people are gonna pick up that scent. So that's why I say this is like a really good you know office uh, Christmas party type of scent or whatever. But uh, man, it smells amazing. And and you people that have it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, again, it's a great value for the money. And and the opening is just gorgeous. Now as far as um, as far as any alternatives, 
uh, the only thing that came to mind immediately, immediately, because I guess because of the, 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 the type of scent and the tobacco, a little bit of the tobacco uh, and just the scent profile of it. The first thing that came to my mind that I have in my collection uh, is uh, CK uh, CK uh, shock CK one shock by Calvin Klein. I don't know if you guys can see that now. I just did a review on this. And again, this is again, this stupid lime green i don't know man again this is an amazing fragrance of ck1 shock i don't know why they packaged it this way you would not know <laughs> that this has this 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 amazing juice in it but you know because of the the tobacco and and uh, it may have cinnamon in it as well but they have similar uh scent profiles they're not identical so you know having one or the other um i don't think it'd be redundant but at any rate uh, it's just a little bit cheaper than this. I mean, so I wouldn't say that you would, you know, um, um, I don't think it replace it or anything like that. But at any rate, that's the only alternative that I can think of. You know, I like to give you guys alter alternatives, but uh, but back to the fragrance. So, um, you know, I've worn this a few times. Uh, and again, I recently got this. And, you know, Usually when my wife likes something right away, it's a, it's a winner, of course. Any guys that are married, you know what I'm talking about. You want to make sure your wife likes what you like as well. She loved this one. Um, and so uh, I'm glad I got it. Uh, again, 35 bucks. I don't think you'll go wrong uh, getting this fragrance if you... Uh, you should be... I mean, I see this at the rack store sometime. I mean, you could find it at most of the discounters online. I mean, you know, Fragrance X... Uh, fragrance net even some of the the ebay uh uh, uh sellers have it uh but you shouldn't really have any problem finding this uh but i think just again for this time of year you know uh fall um uh, winter winter and um early spring maybe uh you can get away with this but i i really this is one that i probably will pull out mainly for holiday events and holiday you know festivities it's just a perfect scent for that type of occasion. You know, some some scents you you just wear for specific occasions. And I know immediately I was like, this is a good Christmas party, Thanksgiving, you know, whatever type of uh, type of scent. Um, so any of you guys that are collectors, I'm sure you probably already have it. Uh, any any of you um, uh, subscribers that are listening, if you don't have this one, I would suggest uh, adding this one to your collection. If you're going to build up a collection, uh, you maybe a small collection. I think this will be a good one to add for the the winter months. Um, so I just wanted to bring this one to you guys. Again, it's it's an amazing fragrance. Whenever I do my, I'm I'm not sure if I want to do it, but whenever I do my cheapy video, maybe uh, less than forty dollars, I guess um, this would be definitely in the list um, because it's you know it's I think it's a good value for the money. I mean, even though. It may not perform like, you know, you know, just hours upon hours. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not like it's weak either, but it's moderate. It's just has moderate performance. So just understand that I'm not saying it's weak by any means, but um, this is definitely one to buy or just definitely one to add to your collection. So Signature Scent Review signing off. I just wanted to bring this to you guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Uh, thank you guys for the comments. Thanks for stopping by and peace. Thank <laughs> you.